Hello and welcome back to another unnecessarily long glitch video which has more steps than a mountain temple just so that we can get simple items. We're going to be starting out with my least favourite glitch which is director mode. To begin, please wear a standard outfit such as the effortless as this is going to make the success rate much higher. If you're using a female character then use an equally simple outfit. We're also going to remove the glasses from this outfit so that it's just a t-shirt, sweatpants and shoes, that is it. Okay, so to move on, we're going to open up our interaction menu, go into hide options, and we're going to make sure that we go into other. From here we need to go down to time trial and make sure that it's set to show, otherwise it's not going to show up on the map. If you already have that set to show, uh, congratulations. We're now going to go down and make sure that our spawn location is set to last location, as this is very important. So we're now going to open up the map, and the easiest way to find the time trial is to simply scroll down the list on the right until you get to time trial. I believe the location changes on a weekly basis, so it might not be in the same location for you as it is for me. Okay, so with that waypointed, we're going to get into a car, either yours or an NPC's, and you're going to go into the time trial and press right to start it. Then going to hold down on the D-pad and go up to Franklin. This is then going to take us into story mode, and we're going to open up the interaction menu. From here we're going to go into director mode, which will take us to the casting trailer. Before we do anything else, make sure that your shortlist actors is empty, just in case you've messed around with this before, and then we're ready to move on. So now we're going to go up into the actors category, and we're going to go into animals. More specifically, we're going to need a flight capable bird, such as the chicken hawk or the crow. If you don't have any of these, then just simply go ahead and search on YouTube how to get them, it'll only take you a few minutes. But yeah, my personal recommendations are either the chicken hawk or the crow, as I said, so just try and get one of those. Next, we're going to shortlist this rather fine bird. You can see that in the bottom right. And once you've done that, we're going to back out of animals and instead go into online characters. As expected, this is then going to take you to the casting trailer with your character in it. And you are also going to shortlist your character just as you did with the bird. We're then going to press back twice and we're going to go into shortlist actors. Now you should only have two things here. One being the lovely bird that you picked, such as the chicken hawk, and the other being your GTA online character. Hold down on your left analog or your arrow key to switch between them and the bird should duplicate, but as you can see, it's not working here. Don't worry though, this is a common problem, so all you need to do is go ahead and press back and we're going to exit to story mode. Don't be too surprised, but this is then going to take you to story mode and then we're going to go and join an online session. I recommend going into an invite only session because it's much faster to load. After loading in, we're going to open the interaction menu, go to style and parachute and set it to on. If you don't have a parachute, then go down to ammunition and buy one from the weapon section in the top left. We're now going to get back into the car and repeat the same steps, so just go ahead and start the time trial, and then go switch to Franklin. Even though I picked Franklin, you can see I've loaded in as Michael. So we're now going to open up the interaction menu once again, and return to director mode. Since we already have the actors shortlisted, we're going to go back into shortlist actors and once again hold down on the left analog or your arrow key, and you're going to start switching between. But this time, you're going to notice that the bird is duplicating. So this is where the fun begins. You're now going to go ahead and set a timer for 26 minutes, and you're going to tie an elastic band around your controller, just as shown in the picture, and you're going to go do something productive. After that 26 minute mark, you will come back to an army of birds, and your character will spawn on top of the haystack. If your character falls through the map instead, remove your character from the shortlist, and then reshortlist it, and switch between them again for another few minutes, until he spawns back on top of the haystack. Anyway, we're now going to go and remove the chicken hawk from the shortlist, which will take us back to an empty trailer. At this point, we're going to press back, and we're going to go into the actors category. From here, we're then going to go into beach bums, and it should be hovering over boardwalk automatically, and you should see your GTA Online character. However, if you see a regular NPC instead, then don't worry, just reshortlist the chicken hawk and switch between them again until the character is back on the haystack. Then just once again remove the chicken hawk and come back to Boardwalker and it should be your GTA Online character instead. Again this is a common problem so don't worry if it happens to you, it happens to me pretty much every time except the one time I record. Okay so now we're going to start changing the appearance of the character by pressing the button indicated in the bottom right that says appearance. The objective here is to find a relatively normal looking outfit which has a Christmas mask. Please be very careful when you're doing this as it's what's going to determine whether or not the glitch actually works in the end. For example, this one isn't too bad, so I'm going to go ahead and shortlist this one. We now need to find another two outfits which look relatively normal but have a Christmas mask. So again, here is one of those outfits which I decided to shortlist. Since I now have two, I'm going to go and find a third one which happens to be this one right here. Realistically, that took me about 10 minutes to find those three outfits. 
Now that we have those three outfits shortlisted, you're going to change the appearance again and shortlist the next few outfits, no matter what they look like, until you get a message saying that your shortlist is full. However, when you get this alert, make sure that you press cancel. Okay, so now that we have our three very carefully selected regular looking outfits with Christmas masks and a bunch of random shortlisted outfits, we now need to go and find an outfit that has either the IAA badges or the stethoscope. As a side note, this also works for the pouches. I've made an entire video about pouches and plate carriers, so if you want to, you can go and check that out as well. It took me about half an hour, but I eventually found one with the badges. So you can see the ID card poking through the plate carrier, and you can also see the badge on the waist. Next, we're going to press shortlist on this outfit, which will once again bring up this alert, but this time we're going to press OK. If you picked the stethoscope or the pouches instead, then it is the same process. Anyway, we're now going to go into shortlist actors, and when you scroll through these outfits, you should now see that the IA badges, the stethoscope, or the pouches are transferring over to these other outfits. You now need to pick one of the first three outfits that have the Christmas masks. Pick the one that you think is the safest option that doesn't have any blacklisted clothing and isn't too heavily glitched, as we have previously mentioned. So again, I really do hope that you took your time in finding those first three outfits, because, like I said, the success of this glitch depends on them. Once you're happy with your choice, you're going to go ahead and select it, which will bring you down into director mode. Open up the interaction menu and we're going to quit director mode. This is then going to bring us into story mode, but we are going to be wearing the director mode outfit that we just picked. Reopen the interaction menu and once again, select director mode. Then go down to the bottom and select enter director mode. That might seem a bit pointless, but just do it. So we're now going to open up the interaction menu once again, and we're going to press quit director mode. We'll be in story mode for the second time whilst wearing the outfit, and we're going to take a few steps forward, then press start, go to online, play GTA online, and join an invite-only session. If you get an error during loading, then just go and try to join another session. If the outfit with the Christmas mask that you picked was actually safe, then you will be wearing it right here in the online session, with the IAA badges, the stethoscope, or the pouches. However, if the outfit that you picked was too glitchy or had a blacklisted item, then you will be wearing a basic outfit and you need to do the whole thing again. At a clothing store, we're then going to go and make sure that we save this outfit before we continue on to the next part. I'm now going to show you how to get a belt on this outfit with the badges, stethoscope or pouches without doing the transfer glitch so that you get to keep all of your saved outfits. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is pick a top that is compatible with a plate carrier. If you don't know which tops are compatible, then simply go ahead and equip the sand plate carrier and switch through all of the tops until you find one that you like, which you can wear under the plate carrier. But whatever you do, just make sure again that it is the sand plate carrier and not a different one. Before we continue, the steps are the exact same for the stethoscope, so do the exact same thing. If you picked pouches instead, then go and watch the video that I did on pouches specifically, as it is going to help you a bit more than this one. So once you have your desired top and the plate carrier with the IAA badges or the stethoscope, you're going to go ahead and save this into outfit slot 1, and we're going to call this one Merge. To reiterate, just make sure that it's outfit slot 1 or outfit slot 20, not a different one. Next, go into Heist Coveralls and pick any of the four from the bottom of the list that have the chemical mask. We then need to head down to the telescopes at Del Perry Pier. I'm going to sprint towards it at an angle, and you're going to press right on the D-pad as soon as you get near it, and you should stand there with no mask. Now open up your interaction menu, go into Style and go down to Outfit, and equip the one called Merge that we just saved. The chemical mask will then reappear when you walk away, and we're going to head down to the nearest ammunition. From here we're going to go into the outfit section and we're going to make sure that we save this once again in slot 1, which is called Merge. Please do not forget to save it. Then open up the interaction menu, switch to a random saved outfit and switch back to the one that we just saved called Merge. If the mask doesn't appear, just equip the outfit twice. Now press Start, go to Online, Jobs, Play Job, Rockstar Created, go down to Missions and start up a Titan of a Job. Simply just confirm the settings and press Play and you'll then either spawn inside or outside of the ammunition wearing a chemical mask and no plate carrier. If you spawn with a scruffy balaclava and a plate carrier instead, then close GTA and restart it, and then go back to the point where we switched outfits just now a few seconds ago. Anyway, we're now going to go back into the outfit section and once again, we're going to save it into slot 1, which is called Merge. After it's been saved, we're then going to bring up the phone and quit the job from there. Back in an online session, we're going to go into the outfit section once again and we're going to go and pick the desired belt. As of now, they reside in the Diamond Casino Heist category and you can either get them from the Group 6 gear, the Refuse Collectors or the Prison Guards, depending on which one you prefer. Also, make sure that you own an earpiece from the gear section in the middle of the ammunition. Now press Start, go to Online, Jobs, Play Job, Rockstar Created, go down to Verses and we're going to start up Top Fun. Once the settings screen loads up, make sure that you set Clothing to Player Owned, that is very important, and then you're going to go ahead and confirm the settings. You then need to get one other person, so you can use auto invite like I did to get a random, or you can invite a friend if you happen to have one. I don't, so I use randoms. 
Now go down to own outfit and press right once to equip the outfit called merge in slot 1 or left if it is in slot 20. As you can see, we now have our desired belt on with our badges or stethoscope and our top. Once the mission starts up, you're then going to open up your interaction menu, go into style and accessories and press left to equip the earpiece that I just said that you have to own. Then bring up the phone and quit the job just like we did with the other mission. Just as a side note, you are then free to go and still customise the outfit when you get back into an online session. However, if you want to use a different top, then you're going to need to repeat the sand plate carry glitch and then go back into top fun to get the belt back on it. If the top allows for it, then you are also able to put your interaction menu body armour on without the badges or belt disappearing. Then you can just go ahead and save and enjoy your new outfit. Now that's all well and good, but if you want to go and take this one step further and get something like the gun belt, the medic belt, or want to be able to put the plate carrier onto any top that you want, then continue watching, but we're going to have to do the transfer glitch. However, the transfer glitch does delete all of your player saved outfits apart from the one that you're wearing, so please make sure you're wearing the outfit with the badges or stethoscope. So we're going to start off on the male character, obviously, and then we're going to press start, go to online, and swap character. In order for this glitch to work, your main male character has to be in the first character slot, if it's in the second one, this is not going to work for you, so you're going to have to stick with the non-transfer method that we just did. We're now going to go over to slot 2, and we are going to create a new character. If you already have a female character, then you can use that, but please do keep in mind that we are going to be deleting that character later on, so if you don't want to lose that, then don't do the transfer glitch. I recommend copying your main character's rank over to this new character, so that you don't have any issues buying anything in the clothing store, and no, this does not affect your main character's rank. At this point, all we need to do is make sure that the character is a female, and then we're going to go and save and continue. If you disconnect from this point onwards until we're back onto the male character later on, then you will need to switch back to your male, and then switch back to the female, and continue on from there. Okay, so now that we have loaded into a session, the first thing that we want to do is bring up the map, and we're going to check to see if the clothing stores have spawned in. If they haven't, then just go and find a new session, but if they have, then go and head over to one. Upon arrival at the clothing store, we're going to go and head over to the accessory section, now please make sure that you buy exactly everything that I'm buying and do not miss anything at all. Firstly, we're going to go into earrings and purchase the B&W Deco earrings. Again, do not forget these as they will allow the stethoscope or the IAA badges or pouches to transfer onto other outfits later on. Next, we're going to go into gloves and purchase the red and grey armoured, which are the merge gloves. If you don't know what that means, don't worry, just buy them anyway. So now we're going to go into pants, go into sports pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants, which again are merge pants. For now we're going to avoid the top section as we don't need it and instead we're going to go into shoes. From here we're going to go into sneakers and purchase the pink plain high tops which like the other ones are the merge component. We're now ready to go into the top section and to start off with we're going to go into the sports jackets category, go down to the bottom and purchase the sea green puffer jacket. After doing that we're then going to back out of sports jackets and instead go down to the gun running t-shirts category. Now this part can get a little bit confusing, so please make sure you are listening very carefully. We're now going to go down until we get to the blue digital rolled T, which is number 22 on the list. Do not get this confused with other ones with similar names in the same category. Okay, so we're now going to go into inventory and body armour and equip the standard armour. And then we're going to go back into the top section and make sure that we save this into outfit slot 19. Since outfit slot 1 and 20 are used for the sand plate carry glitch that we did earlier, we're going to leave those empty. We're going to call this outfit Gun No Belt, which is pretty useful for things like jackets because the gun actually sits a little bit further away from the waist, meaning that it doesn't clip into tops as much as the gun belt does. Speaking of the gun belt, we're now going to go into work jackets and purchase the Peach Camo Field Jacket. Now we need this to be closed, but it's open for me, so if it's open for you too, we're going to need to open up our interaction menu, go into style, and make sure that jacket is set to closed. After closing the jacket, we're then ready to go back into the top section and we're going to go back to the gun running t-shirts category. Now go down to the bottom of the list and purchase the blue digital t-shirt, which is number 60 on the list, not to be confused with the one that we just purchased or any other similar ones. Next we're going to go and save this into outfit slot 18, and we're going to call this one gun belt. This one sits a little bit closer to the waist, so it's going to be useful for more low profile tops like shirts, t-shirts, that sort of thing. Uh, but we're now going to move on to the sand plate carrier one. For that we're going to go back to the top of the list and scroll down until we get to the dark woodland roll tee, which is number 16 on the list. Again, don't confuse that with the one nearer to the bottom of the list, it's completely different. Then just go and save that into slot 17 and call that one Sand Vest. This outfit lets us put the sand plate carrier onto any top that we want. This is going to let you do the glitch that we did earlier with the sand plate carrier method, but it's going to let you put the sand plate carrier onto any top instead of only ones that are compatible with the plate carrier normally. Anyway, we're now going to move on, so we're going to go into the tucked t-shirts category, and we're going to purchase number 75 on the list, 
which is the blue digital t-shirt. You're probably tired of hearing this, but since there's always someone that doesn't listen, this is completely different to the one that is in the gun running t-shirts category, so make sure it is this one in the tucked t-shirts category. Then just save it in slot 16 as medic belt. If you want to, you can then go and fill the rest of the empty outfit slots with other transfer outfits that I have made in the past. Just simply go and watch those videos and copy those outfits into the slots. Of course, you don't have to do that, it's just an option, but it's probably better to do that to make it more worth your time. Whatever you decide to do, we now need to initiate a four save. So to do that, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style, and we're going to switch to one of the other outfits that we've just made. Close the interaction menu and a little orange circle should pop up in the bottom right indicating that the game is saving. If you don't see that, just wait a minute and switch outfits again and it should appear. Next, we're going to press the start button, go to online, and we're going to start up the creator. When the creator menu loads up a few seconds later, we're going to select create a race and then tutorial. You don't have to create a race like some other videos show, so just go to tutorial instead and press OK. You'll then be brought to a screen similar to this one, and you're either going to press start on your controller or P on your keyboard, and that sounds weird, but then you're going to go over to online and we're going to select choose character. To specify, I meant the P key, not don't pee on your keyboard. Anyway, we're now going to go into the outfit selection and you're going to go over to the second character, which is the female one. This might seem counterproductive, but we're now going to go and delete the female character. Do not delete your main male character. Please use your brain. Once the selection screen loads up again, you're going to press the button that allows you to return to Grand Theft Auto 5, which is then going to take you down into story mode. Then just press start, go to online, play GTA online and press go. Once you're in an online session, you're then going to go over to an outfit section of a clothing store and go into outfit saved. Here you should see that you only have the outfits that you made on the female character. As mentioned previously, the rest of your player saved outfits have been deleted. If you skip that part, well, sucks for you buddy. Before we go any further, we're going to go into edit saved outfits and save the outfit that we're currently wearing into a random outfit slot just so that it's out of the way and actually saved. This will act as a backup just in case you do something wrong. You can now go and select the top and pants that you want on the outfit, just make sure that the top that you pick is the one that you actually want, because if you try to change it later on, then it will remove the belt. Now press start, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go down to verses and select top fun. At the settings screen, go down to clothing and again make sure that clothing is set to player owned and then confirm the settings. You then need to go and invite one other person, again you can use a random like I did or you can use friends if you have those. Uh, alternatively, you can also join the Militator Discord server, the invite link is down below, and you might be able to find someone to help you there. Now we're going to go down to Owned Outfit, and you're going to press left to equip the outfit called Gun, No Belt, which again is just the gun with no belt. Uh, this, like I said before, is best for jackets and stuff. Press left again for the gun belt, which is best for low profile tops. Left again for the sand vest, which you can use to do the glitch that we did earlier, but just on any top. And then left again for the medic belt, if you're using something like the stethoscope or you just like the look of the belt. I'm going to go for the gun belt as it matches the badges, but then you're going to ready up and wait for the other person to do so as well. If your badges or stethoscope disappeared, then you are a potato that forgot the B and W Deco earrings, so uh, go back and do it again. Just like we did before, we're going to go and equip an earpiece from the interaction menu, then bring up the phone and quit the job. Now just go back to an outfit store and make sure that you save the outfit, and there you go, you now have your transferred outfit with your director mode stuff as well. As I've mentioned previously, these steps are exactly the same for the stethoscope, and as you can see here, I decided to get it with the medic belt. But that is pretty much it, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, read the pinned comment if you have any problems, and I'll see you in the next one.